Welcome back to The Ref Show, part two. Gary Megson joins us. Delighted to see you again, Gary. And Keith Hackett, just uh, one or two games to round up from the Premier League over the weekend. What particularly took my eye was that Mike Dean, the high priest of grappling, is in charge for Burnley nil Manchester United 1, and television has highlighted an incident where Burnley could or should have had a, a penalty for grappling. Correct. And it was a clear penalty, wasn't it? I mean, I, I feel for, for Burnley. I mean, it's now a regular weekly occurrence where Sean comes on and, and the manager and says, we should have had a penalty mm. or we've not had one this season. It, it's a point. He's got a point. It's one that Mike Dean's missed. He's not missed many, is he? Uh, in fairness to him, I, I think Mike Dean, you, whether you love him or hate him as a spectator, the one thing he delivers is a consistent performance. You know what you're going to get from Mike Dean. Yeah. Okay. Often controversy. In this case, there is some, but it's not quite as high level controversy as it's been. Where do you stand on it's this not, referee? Well, it ain't one of the top four clubs. That's why there's not as much controversy. <laughs> <laughs> you're with Sean. You it's happening. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You, but you know, if you're at a certain type of club, it's not the same as at one of yeah. the big clubs. That that if that had been the other way around, that had been like you know going on till uh, till Thursday morning about how it should have been. Yeah. Burnley, it's just well didn't get it, off we go, same again. But th that'll be the same if you have a look at all the teams. But it's, it's not just down to size of the club. It's down to sometimes it's the, the type of football that you play. If you've got people that are like, you know, good on the ball, like Arsenal, like Manchester United, all that lot, and they're going into the box like Hazard, you're going to get more penalties than certain mm. teams who just take it and put it in there from 30 yards. And, and such is life. But it can't be that that's not given as a penalty because, in my view, it's Burnley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fair point. I don't think anybody could argue against that, could they? He's right, isn't he? Well, I... I, uh, I know well, the referees... You can't question the well, integrity of I'm the not, referees I mean, here. Well, we're not I'm, doing I'm that. Not, no, I, just I saying... think what we're, what we're doing... <laughs> yeah, I think Gary's right, first of all. I think that yeah. it, it's like everything else. If, if you... It, you know, Sam Allardyce used to argue at Bolton about uh, Kevin, uh, the, the centre-forward, Terry Davis, Davis getting, yeah. getting, you know, the most foul player. And I used to say to him, well, I'm, or, and or the, he was the guy who was also creating the most fouls. Mm. And I'm saying, well, the simple reason is, Sam, every time you kick the ball upfield, it's to Kevin Davis. And therefore, he's coming. He's a high-profile figure within that particular game. He's going to get fouled, and he's going to foul the opponents because we're watching that. Uh, so I think that takes place. But I, I think in the case of Burnley, I mean, that was a clear penalty it should have been given. Right. Gary managed uh, Kevin Davis as well, Bolton, mm. didn't you? And uh, he's, he, he's he really, really good at it as a target man. Mm. And you know, he's spot on. It, because the ball does go there most of the time, that's where it, that's where it goes, right, he's going to get a lot more free yeah. kicks. But it's like, you know, it, it still doesn't follow. If Kevin Davis did play for Manchester United, the, uh, the, the comparison would be different. Yeah, it's not quite fair. Uh, he started off as a manager at Southport now, hasn't he? Kevin Davis is in management. Yeah, right. yeah Southport, yeah. 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 Good, yeah. Luck to him. good luck to Well, I need good luck. I remember um, James Beattie a few years ago had a really promising start somewhere. Where was it? Was it Macclesfield or somewhere? Not, not Macclesfield. Uh, right. And he, he started to do a good job. Accrington, yeah, that's right. Start, I thought he did a really good job and then suddenly he'd gone. Uh, and he's not not come back. It's well, almost like it swallows people up, doesn't yeah. it? it swallows he careers. went as assistant up to um, up to Middlesbrough this this season. But it, when when you first start, yeah. you've got to make a success of it, mm. and you've got to have a little bit of luck because it's. Yeah. The, the, I, I would imagine if anybody looked back on all the managers that's been, if there'll be a lot of managers who've just managed one club, because you've got to take the eye then, and you've got to have a little bit of luck. I'd, I got a phone call, with, we got promoted at West Brom, mm. and um, I got a phone call from a really senior manager, and he says, uh, get your parachute out. I went, huh? He says, you need to get out of there because of the way the club was run, because it, it had a good season, but it wasn't always going to happen. At that point, I'm not saying that I wanted to, but at that point, you need somewhere to go, not just say, I'm going. Yeah. So that you, you, your career as a manager, you do need to be decent at it, but you do need that little bit of luck along yeah. the way. Choose people up and spits them out if you're not careful. Mm. Uh, other games in the Premier League, just to go through them very briefly, Stoke 2, Huddersfield 0, winning start for Paul Lambert, no issues I don't think from no. Michael Oliver in that game. Martin Atkinson is ever steady, West Ham 1, Bournemouth 1, Everton 1, West Brom 1 with Stuart Atwell. Of course, we all wish uh, the speediest possible to recovery. Yeah. 
recovery to James McCarthy with that terribly broken leg yeah, of Everton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Complete accident as well. It, it was. Uh, it's like you know, Solomon, obviously, I know quite well from a time down there. He's a, he's a, he's a big mm. lad, but he, he's, he's to the point he doesn't use his physique like Kevin Davis would. But he's, um, you know, he, he'll be distraught, but he was distraught. He was in he, tears. Yeah, mm. yeah, but he's he's not an aggressive person at all. No. He's, he, his body looks like a heavyweight boxer, but he certainly doesn't use mm. that. And it's like, you know, there's just no uh, no blame to him. He was trying yeah. to shoot and, it, and yeah. McCarthy was bravely blocking him. And yeah, really uh, it was, yeah, it was very, yeah. very sad indeed. Uh, and Kevin Friend, Southampton won, Spurs won. Uh, Guy Bill, who was blogging that on ref cam, just used the word, I made a note of one word from him, which was inconsistent on Kevin friend's performance you obviously agree <laughs> he blunders from one game to the next you you know what you're going to get with uh, with Kevin I mean I, I you know he starts the game off and I think he goes in with the with the logic that says I'm going to talk to everybody and I'm not going to produce a yellow card and I, and I said you know to our group watch it because we're now going to have com confetti in the second half and uh, I said a minimum four yellow cards is coming, and he and he got five. Right. I, I I just think that there's a point at which you talk, and I think for any young referee, I don't begrudge anybody uh, having the quiet word, which he never seems to use. Yeah. He wants to bring the captain over, and then it goes into a long dialogue, and everybody's looking around and getting bored. Mm. Right. You probably do that once to each team, but you mm. certainly don't repeat it. And therefore, step management, quiet word, public, <clears throat> you've done. Now you, you, you're hunting with your pocket mm. if players are going to respond. Hopefully some constructive points there for Kevin Friend. In the Championship, a Friday game was Derby nil, Bristol City nil. Darren England was in charge. I think the consent was that Derby's Cameron Jerome, who was cautioned for diving, oh. should have been a penalty, actually, mm -hmm. fouled by Aidan Flint. You saw Roger East... Uh, as I did, Sheffield Wednesday nil, Cardiff nil at Hillsborough in another televised game. And you were quite surprised after looking something up, weren't you? Well, I, I just looked and I thought, I wouldn't, it, it, my wife made a comment, how old is he? And I've gone, <laughs> well, he's, he's 40 odd. And then I looked and he's coming up in May to 53 on the Premier League. Yeah. You know, OK, this was a, a championship match, but he is a Premier League referee. However, having said all that, Alan... I think that people like Craig Pawson and Bobby Madley could actually learn something about his movement and positioning because this guy does put in a shift. Certainly. Physically. He's very sleek, isn't he? He gets yeah. around the Well, field. he gets around and I think that's good. The fact that he gets quite a few decisions wrong is another matter. I just think <laughs> that his mobility does help to sell the decisions. Mm -hmm. okay. um, Leeds 3, Millwall 4. I wish I'd have been at that one rather than at Hillsborough, to be honest. It was, it was David Coote. Now, Liam Cooper was sent off at 0-1 in that game. A challenge on uh, George Saville, considered a dangerous challenge. Third Leeds red card in three games, Gary. Yeah, he's... I think those those things. I don't. I don't think you, you have teams that like you can say like the the dirty teams or they're doing this wrong or they're doing that wrong. I think sometimes it just just happens like and it's like coincidental. I don't. I don't ever remember a team where you think right we're going to have to be on our metal today no. because they're over aggressive. Leeds did have that reputation at one time, but it's but not. That's, it's a, false that's the now, point, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, a, like, it's a reputation from donkey yeah. years ago. It's not that sort of team, no, is it? No, no, not no. At all. It really is no. No. not now. Definitely no. not. No. Well, I mean, I, look. Uh, I mean, there's no question that they were a tough side, but mm. I don't think they went out physically at any stage in the history to go out and maim players. And you I don't felt, think professional players do that. And you felt that David Cook, the referee, had learned a lesson because he should have sent off Sheffield Wednesday's Ross Wallace in the, in the Sheffield Derby. Oh, he missed the big one. But he didn't miss this one. No, and I, I think credit to him. I, I think he's certainly one that should be on the Premier League. Right. Uh, that's uh, Liam Cooper's second red of the season as well. It's a four-match ban that he's uh, triggered there. Again, a player that you wouldn't say he's a dirty. No, but it's like player. it's like you've, you've mentioned earlier about Kevin Davis. You know, Keith says that's where the ball goes. It's the same with Cooper. That, like, there's going to be a lot of challenges because that's yes. the type, type in that of game kind he of plays. Like, yeah, yeah. He was a lovely player to referee, Kevin Davis. Yeah. Really nice, nice guy. guy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very much so. Well, you and I, just finally, in the final minute of the show, we watched a little bit of footage that I saw on Twitter from Peterborough's game. Peterborough won 3-0 against Oldham. There was, uh, Seb Stockbridge was a referee. It was a 
Oh, horrendous challenge by Well, I mean, he's, no, run, he's not run 20 yards, hasn't he? He's yeah. run 20 yards. The goalkeeper's coming for the ball. It's the goalkeeper's ball. Mm. And he's jumped in mm. from about three yards yeah. with two yeah. feet. You can't do that in a game of football. And then you have to say, how's he got away with it? I don't know. We were scratching our heads looking at that. We've only seen like a fractional view of it. And that's what happens now. People are taking films all the mm. time on their phones. So you get these snatches of incident that are sent mm. to us. So we're sorry we can't be as comprehensive as you'd like us to be, or sometimes as forensic as you'd like us to be, because yeah. unlike the Premier League, we just get this little snatch and we're looking at yeah. a mobile phone like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But it's all good fun, isn't it? It's silly, it's like the golf, isn't it? Where, you know, somebody yeah. <laughs> you know, take the, rings in in America, the ball moved quarter of an inch. And yes! You've got to go. <laughs> well, the player at the time yeah. in golf, they seem to say, like, well, I did touch the ball or something like yeah. that. But, like, you know, similar things is happening Very with football so. because, you know, TV's coming into everything more and more. Cheers. We'll see you soon, unless you're back in management, of course. Wish you, you well on that. Thanks, Thank Gary. You. Thanks, Keith. Yeah. See you for another Ref Show next week. Bye.